Hey, good morning, CCCH kids. We're so excited that you are joining us again this morning. Whether you're here in the building with us right now or you're joining us online, we're so happy that we get to spend our Sunday mornings with you. We've had so much fun spending time with you online, and now we're excited. As of last Sunday, we're back here in person. So for my preschoolers down the preschool wing, if you're here, I love seeing you already this morning. How are you? For my kids, we're kids down the hallway who are so excited that you get to hang out with us. I had so much fun teaching last week in Kids Work Studio. For those of us who are online, please drop us an email. Let us know how you are doing and when your mom and dad are ready, we look forward to seeing you back here in person. We have some great things coming up this morning. We have two brand new lesson series that we've been a part of the last couple weeks and we love being a part of week three this morning as we continue on our fly a kite series and our reconnect series. For our preschoolers, as you can kind of see behind me as I stand in the preschool wing, we're talking about this idea of flying a kite. As you look down the hallway, you see my awesome, amazing fun kites and as they blow in the wind, that's what we're talking about. We're going to talk this morning about this idea of God's amazing power in our life through a friendship with Him. And then also how His friendship allows us to be a better friend to others. Jesus Christ wants to be our best friend forever. Preschoolers, we're so excited as you tune in this morning or as you hang out with us here in person and you learn about this way that we can be a good friend. We want good friends, but also we need to learn about how to be a good friend. And down the hallway in our kids' work studio, we're going to talk about reconnecting, building a bridge to others through our friendships, but also how we get along with others. Reconnecting with others, building a bridge is all about how we choose not to fight. So often we can get wrapped up and kind of have our way, but also we need to learn how to let things go. This morning in our kids' work area and in our kids' work video, we're gonna talk about this idea of forgiveness, but it's also this idea of letting things go. We need to know how to let things go, learn how to forgive, and also to know how to get along with others in a better way. This series is so very powerful because we need to learn how to meet people in the middle of the bridge of our relationships. Like we talked about last week, it is so important for us to learn to say, you know what, I don't have to have my way. I wanna make sure that I love you like Jesus loved me. Jesus loved me, he forgave me, and I wanna learn how to love and to forgive just like that. For our preschoolers and our elementary kids, we are ready to get started. We're so excited. Whether you're here with us in person or online, we're about to head into some worship and some great teaching.
to see you today. You can help me set up for a big party. Can you guess what type of party it is? It's a kite decorating party. My friends and I have been having so much fun playing with our kites that we want to make sure everyone we know has a kite. So we're all going to meet at the park later today for a special kite party. I can't wait. We invited our neighbor, Sean. I bet he's gonna decorate his kite red because red is his very favorite color. We also invited my grandma Annie. I bet she's gonna call her her kite bright purple. She loves anything purple. We also invited Kai's cousin, Marie. I bet she's gonna color her kite a tie-dye kite. It's gonna be so cool. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Planning a special party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. My friends and I are all meeting at the park later today, so I can share all my supplies so everyone can make a kite. It will be a kite making party. Sharing with our friends is a great thing to do. And I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Marquise, hope you're having fun in Florida. Your friend, Justin. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And today, look at this, I'm sending my own mail. My friend Marquise just moved to Florida with his family and I'm mailing him a postcard to let him know that I'm thinking of him. Good friends are the best, aren't they? Which is what today's story is all about. Are you ready for a story? Great, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends who wanted to love people like Jesus loved them. So do you know what they did? Ask me, say, what did they do? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. They shared. If someone needed a coat, they gave him one of theirs. If someone needed a place to stay, they shared their home. If someone didn't have something to eat, they would give her something to eat. Jesus' friends were super sharers because that is how Jesus loved people. He shared with everyone. Jesus' friends spent lots of time together. 
They ate and talked and laughed. They loved each other because Jesus loved them. And do you know what else they would do? They would praise God. This showed everyone that they were friends with Jesus. I want to do that too. I want to be a friend like Jesus. I want to share with my friends so they know Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Raise your hand if you want to be a friend like Jesus. You do? Oh, oh, and you do too? Okay, raise them up high, as high as you can. Higher, higher. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's be friends like Jesus and share so that everyone knows how much Jesus loves them. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The people were friends and loved each other, just like Jesus showed them to. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that was such a great story. I love that people shared so everyone had what they needed. They were being loving and great friends just like Jesus taught them to. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I get to share all the supplies with my friends so everyone will have a kite. I'll see you next time. Bye!